you know that Finland is uh, also a Swedish-speaking country, so um, my demonstration is mostly in Swedish. Okay, and we select one e-service, and <coughs> that service, the first na first word of that palka, it's learn. Can this be bigger? This yes, I was here. That is an e-service. It is this e-service is for employers, small employers. <clears throat> and and it has two branches one for small companies another for households and this need this these services needs identification and here you can say that and identify to be a company or identify to be private person household is private person so uh, i'm sorry to say that the man and wife they are two different households from from that point of view we are lacking that kind of construction that what is a household of two or three persons that is it is the legal question, not not the technical or service-oriented one. And now here it is second service. It's tunnistus.fi. That tunnistus means identify. In in Swedish it would be uh, identifiera dot fee or something like that and here you can see our ident person identification methods they are net banks and also uh, the uh, chip card but firstly about that chip card this project has not been successful Finnish people don't want to use chip cards. For instance, I have such one, but I never use it because it's too difficult. And there are too less support for this uh, chip card reader devices and programs. So, so forget it, this chip card. In our Eastern, uh, southern neighbor, Estonia, it has been successful with chip card. They had a good experience with chip cards, but uh, they could start from scratch. Um, but in Finland, we had a long culture of these net banks. This Nordea and uh, and uh, this this bank or these two these three are the biggest ones or there is the same company like in sweden sampo Banki, that is a subsidiary of the den danske bank and i could identify myself here with that sampo net bank or this s s bank both and and uh, but it is not interesting to show how net bank identification goes because I, I think 
each of you have experiences to do so. But then here we have our company identification methods. We, we are speaking about CATSO authentication. That CATSO, it's Finnish word, look at, tittapo, see up, or something like that. And that company identification method, it is, I, I can say it's invented by me. I have been the director of, the, of that project. We started in 2005. And that is very much similar to, to uh, Now I am registered myself to that palkka.fi service. And now there is possibility to select what identity I am now representing. Because I can be the, myself as a private person or I can be the owner of this company. And let's select to be the owner of company. Then I will have the company profile of that palkka.fi service. And then there is selection Byt arbeitsivare. That is, I could I could have, personally, I could have like 10 companies or several persons to represent. And that is the property of that CATSO identification service that we can create power of attorney or authorizations. I, I can give the right to represent me to, to, to some other company to, or to some other person. But here with this service we have one language problem or language continuation problem maybe the next uh, this is finished this time. It is a small uh, mistake, and we will correct it uh, very, very, uh, very soon. And now, if representing that person, I have another profile of that service. So basically, I have I have told you the uh, the capabilities of our service. I I can select e-service. I can select identification method, and I can uh, I can select the authorization. That part of to, uh, my identity to be exactly me, that I have several uh, authorizations to representative to represent companies or persons. So. That was the demonstration part. This is live, live service. And I'm stopping now if there aren't any, any questions about that uh, demonstration. And, and I go back to presentation. Please open my presentation. We can use this. Okay. 
Yes, I am the assistant director of, of tax administration of Finland, working there at the data ad administration unit. And one remark from Finland that we have a law of strong authentication and, and e-signatures, what we almost never used no, digital signature of documents. But <clears throat> instead of that, that the strong authentication of e-service transactions, they are valid for di digital signature. Because, because at the very end, it is, it is the judges who, who can solve what is true and what is not. So it is never a technical question. It is a question what the, what the court believes and what it doesn't believe. And here, maybe this, these are too simple, but still I'm saying that the e-services like this Palka.fi that needs to be authenticated or, or users of that service must be authenticated. And that tunnistus.fi or identifiera.fi is the authentication method selection service. But that katso, tittapo, look at service, it's authentication source and service. Then we could speak about connector products like some agents. They unify e-services and identification services. And it is important what kind of, uh, of uh, software components we have there. And then it's identities. I have my person number or, or tax identification number for me. But the identity coming from that Katso service, my Katso ID is different. It's different, but, but into my Katso identity, there is coupled new other identities or federations, could we say. And then there are authorizations or power of attorneys who tells who can represent another identity on what service. And there are roles and role requirements of e-services and to authenticate and to verify are, are the important concepts. And I, I showed the, this slide before. It is the, the picture of our identification selection services. And uh, these services are now running some 20 million transactions this year. Last year uh, it happened uh, 16 million times, but this year is 20 million at least and it's increasing very, very rapidly. This slide is uh, the service, service uh, or general information about that Katso identification service. There are some, some uh, uh, direct links and you see that that uh, there are many authorities that use the same service, the tax administration, and there, then Kela, it's our folk pension uh, installed or something like that, National Social Insurance Institutes. And there are Finnish Customs and the Finnish Center for Pensions and three different ministries, Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, and uh, Agriculture and uh, Justice, and also City of Helsinki and some other cities. This slide a bit old. 
And that cut so service, it is uh, regulated by law number 1414 from year 2010. These two services, tunnistus.fi and Katso, they are rather old. Tunnistus.fi uh, opened in 2004, and there are more than 60, uh, 60 different e-services that this or identification services is now serving. The cumulative amount is more than 50 million events and and uh, uh, some 20 million uh, will will in increase uh, every year uh, this last january it happened 2.0 million events but normally january is the one of the most heavy ones on each year. And the most important uh, authentication sources are this our Katsu service and Pohjola and Norja private net banks. They they generated some 3.5 million transactions each. And chip card only 1050 150,000 events, and most of these are governmental offices, not private persons. The Katsu service is now six years old. It started from the beginning of February 2006, and there are now some 35 different e services that use that Katsu organization identification service and there we have uh, created some 12 million events and uh, this last January was 600,000 events. Maybe this picture is too complicated to go through, but the basic idea is that there are these three different levels, authentication and connectors and, and service providers, and how to, how to uh, manage this set of th this structure. It is the question itself, and we in Finland have another governmental or, or public identification service. It is at Vetuma, and one of the ongoing projects is to, to federate that Tunnistus.fi and Vetuma services uh, so that the government, let's say the function of state and of the functions of, of uh, regional and municipal services would, would uh, work together better after that federation project. So these <coughs> Tunnistus.fi and Fetuma, they are similar systems, but that Tunnistus.fi is much older and it is used 10 times more so that Vetuma is rather of rather uh, small use now and and uh, these two services are federated together the at the middle of this year and this technical texts here speaking about SAML2 web uh, single sign on and Kantara profiles and so on. They are texts from some more technical people than I am. So this is only copied here. I, I can't interpret these this, uh, more. And here is the some 
some picture of, about how, how rapid has been the development. So there are several, several mil millions of transactions each year that, that has increased. And now I believe that, that uh, 2012 there will be more than 20,000 events. And this is the same, same statistics from, from the Katso events. <clears throat> it, it started from very small amounts, uh, but after, after the uh, first f phases, uh, develop development has been f uh, rather rather fast and like i said <coughs> we have we have now nearly 40 40 e services that are that are behind these identification services uh, it, it's rather uh, difficult and maybe useless to try to to explain what kind these services are, but they are from all the sectors of Finnish public life. Uh, this basic uh, how how to how, how to put together end users and service providers and identification. Maybe this is clear to all of you. Nothing not. No new information here. And also, uh, what are the standards behind Oasis, SAML, and VS Federation, and, and Liberty Alliance uh, standards? They are maybe they are family. You are familiar with the, these these standards here. Our technical vendor is Ubisecure Solutions. Uh, and they they have they participate in this standardization work uh, and take care of the challenge to 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 follow the standards as close as is usual and basically i the demonstration i i showed you at, at first, they it followed this this chain. First, there is the e-service, and then I select uh, the identification method, and then I tell the credentials. And uh, all this is linked to to tax administration of Finland, so that that Katso identification that is the service that is established by a tax administration in Finland, but it is uh, of opened to, uh, to the other, th other sector of Finnish government. So that's why the, the tax administration internet portal in the includes a lot of Katso uh, instructions and guidance. That's why it is here. And if the user of new uh, e-service provider uh, want to get familiar with that Katso service, so he, he or she can find information from, from the uh, tax administration internet service. Yeah. There, that Katso is rather rich service because we have possibility to create power of attorneys so that the uh, who is giving the author authorization he doesn't need any e uh, e uh, let's say tools. He don't need computer, no co no internet connection, nothing. 
only he had to go to the, to the nearest service point and tell his uh, subject to the, to the tax officer and, and uh, prove that it is me and I have to uh, uh, sign one document here at the tax office. So that CATSO identification service is planned so that it can, can serve also people that are the outside the e-world. Also, one, one important, uh, important point here is that if it's a private person at work, he want not to be a private person. He, he don't want to use his or her person, personal identification methods he uses for his net banking. He, he, he absolutely not want to use it at work. So to be a representative of some company and to be private persons, they are two different things that can't be joined together. Maybe that is one, one reason for that very bad uh, success of, of chip cards in Finland. And that Katso service has the, has the concept of master user and the master user of each company can create sub-identities inside the company. That idea we stole from Norway. We, we visited Norway 2003 and they, they told us the, that that identity, that idea to have the master user inside the company that that takes care of the identity uh, management inside inside that company, and and we picked that idea from Norway. And these two Katso uh, icons, one type password, a password, uh, we have noticed these to be useful because all e-services no, don't need uh, strong authentication. And here is a list from our development steps, but it is not in, in, interesting for you, but, but this, uh, this system is developing all the time and now we are very heavily uh, developing new new uh, features, how to identificate companies that are totally outside Finland. So, there are very foreign, very foreign companies. And the coverage of that CATSO uh, organization, organization identification system has increased over time and now we have some 2,055 uh, different CATSO IDs. So it's, it has rather good co coverage now. And we have worked together very much with, with that Folk Pension Institute or, or National Social Insurance Institute and and the Ministry of Labor because we have the same task. We have to cover the whole population and all enterprises. And we have tried to go ahead very, very much solution oriented. We have not uh, followed all the standardization all, all, all the working groups that are there in the world, we have wanted to get forward very fast, and 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 it has been less than ten persons that have created all this, and we have been very successful, really. 
And why tunnistus.v? It's selection of suitable authentication service. And we can add new services and new authentication methods there very easily. We will add uh, anonym identification, identification to be not identified, it, but still uh, distinguished, to be distinguished but not identified. It is one uh, goal. Another is to add the mobile phone identification there. And why that cuts a service? It's authentication for all or organization, private, public, big, small, and also official and non-official identities. There are identities that are, use, that are not registered, like ships that will go to Finnish harbors. Or, for instance, uh, the, the <coughs> companies in Russia that sell wood of forest to Finland, some our own companies wants to register, to register those other uh, identities there. So from that point of view, that cuts of service must be flexible. Fle flexible for new features and, and new needs. And like I said, UBSEC solution is our technical vendor. And they can tell what are the technicalities there behind. I, 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 I don't need, uh, know these topics. So that was my presentation. Thanks. Have we any public questions? Yeah, my name is Alexander Jones. Uh, my question is, uh, one of the slides you mentioned that um, this service is provided free of cost. And yeah. uh, so that is uh, more, that is based on, on the tax of, of the citizens in, in Finland, more or less, or? Yes, <clears throat> we have planned so that, or th thought so that it is so important for tax administration to have the direct electronic contact to every company for taxation, that it can afford to, to open it to, the, to all the other sectors. And, and also, also that National Social Security Institute have the same strategy, because they have to have contact to every company. So why not? To open the same at, at free of charge to other sectors, it's reasonable. Is it open for for anything, a, a sports club or or anything, or does it have to be a registered company? Uh, to be registered, to be registered. What does it mean? We have the, we have, uh, what it is, trade register. And companies usually have, they must have their trade register numbers. But outside that, that uh, registering, they are, they are identities or units that are outside regist registration that is ordered by law. But still, they are there, and we can we can handle that uh, these kind of identities. Just uh, adding these identities to to uh, to these cuts of systems. Mm -hmm. so, so it is the capability to, to register new dimensions. Okay, it is part of that cuts of flexibility. Fråga till. Var det något där? Ja. 
My name is Arvid Villin. I've got a question. You shown us how the public sector can have e-services using this federation. What about the private sector? Can they connect to the same federation? Yeah, that Katso service was handled by two minister groups of our government in year 2006. And that Katso project, it started with the principle that it is open for all use in Finland, also from business to business identification. But practically we have such limitations right now that it is targeted only for public use. That is, it, for instance, the pension companies in Finland, they are private companies, but to, to offer pension services, it is a public service. So the company, or it can be private, but the task must be public. That is the limitation. It is targeted for public services. Okay, final question. So, what are you most proud with in your solution? More, most satisfied with what, what? What do you think is the best with your solution today? And what are, are you less satisfied with? Yeah, the best uh, feature that is needed. It's running. It is there, but the worst uh, first feature is that we had, we were, we were very hurry. We created that cut service in five months. Mm. And because to be so hurry, it is, uh, from the quality point of view, it is not the best. If we had some two, three, four months more time, then we would have more, more time to, to develop the quality and, and let's say more, it, it would be a bit more practical. Quality, so do you mean the user interface or? Uh, yes, sort of? the, how, the, how the service proce processes, processes mm -hmm. inside the service, they would be more clear and more compact. Now we have to repair these, these things afterwards. But there, in 2005, we, we were really very hurry. Uh, and it was only five, five month project to, to put it to work. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>